All right, welcome back to Frosty Fostings 15. We are here with the top four for Hue Draw Remix. I am Matata. And I am Batoto. Happy to be here, happy to be commentating an event of this skill. Honestly, some of the best players for HDR are gathered here today, oh, yeah. really showing us what this game like boils down to. Yeah, I believe this is the biggest bracket that we've had for this game overall with people from every region pretty yeah. much. Uh, coming out, whether it's one or two people. We got people from California, uh, Vegas, LA, Georgia. Everybody's here. Dude, we and got, <laughs> we got wow. people literally from all both sides of the coast meeting in the middle here at Chicago, Illinois for this absolutely incredible tournament. And I have loved every single second of it. We have an amazing top four coming at you. We have three players already determined. One match is actually still being played out to then come into this top four and then bout it out on the stream. Yeah, I do know that we have some familiar faces in our HDR Chicago scene that are in top four right now, like Ozma, uh, on winner's side, actually, Dude. making a solid run with Captain Falcon. Oh my goodness, Ozma oh, yeah. has been absolutely killing it. Oh, and there it. he is, Even Speaking crushing the, the rock, rock, paper, scissors game, yep. can't even beat him. Can't even beat him. Fun fact, Ozma actually is 102 in Thumb of War. Really? Yes. Wow. I don't know why. He, he was just like, thumb war me. And I was like, okay. And I thumb warred him. He was like, haha, I'm 92, 98 and 2 now. And wow. I was, like, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> He's got it on lock. All right. But they are agreeing to green greens as the starter. Uh, Kriyu probably going to walk in with the Robin. And I assume that Ozma is going to pick up the Captain Falcon. What do you think of that matchup? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure Robin, uh, or Kriyu rather, wants to keep Ozma out as much as possible, and Ozma just wants to keep finding those follow-up conversions. Uh, I know these two players have played against each other a decent amount, but as long as Ozma can get in, he can kind of stop Kriyu from his game yeah. plan and doing what he wants to do. Absolutely. But. Kriyu, like, with the Robin, is absolutely playing a character that is much slower in comparison to Captain Falcon. Captain this Falcon runs in and gives slow. you hell. But we're going to see what happens in this game one, starting off. Oh, on green green's oh. button check? Yeah. Interesting. We, is this we, a button we chilling? check? It feels like a button check. Yeah, this is, OK, we're doing a button check. All, All right, right cool. button check. All right, we're chilling. <laughs> wanted, wanted to make sure, because like it was off to a little bit of a slow start there. Honestly, while we're waiting, yo, crowd, can we make some noise for this top four? Let's go. Yes, sir. They're excited to see it. We're excited to see it. This is going to be an absolute slobber knocker. Yeah, I thought the game started. I saw the up air. <laughs> <laughs> Almost certainly starting here soon. They are going past 30 seconds here. I imagine that they're just trying to get, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of a hold of this. A little bit of wiggle sticks out there. Yeah, just, just getting their, just getting their nerves out, getting it going, getting it wiggling. All right, and I guess we're gonna actually jump into game one of top eight, yeah. or top four, rather. Here we HDR. go. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of a different take, but the top four allows us to like definitely get the tournament running much faster, much right? Faster, yeah. yeah. So top four, here we go. First game of top four, Kriu versus Ozma. All right, game one actually starting this time. Looks like Kriu doing a pretty good job at keeping Ozma out and stuffing out his aerial landing options, but we'll have to see as time goes, uh, goes on how the condition goes. Yeah, one thing that we're really going to see come out of Kriyu in comparison to a lot of the other players in top eight is that movement with that neutral B, right? He has a lot of potential to just mix up wherever he's going and just get in and out on a flash. Oh, yeah, that's one thing. This Robin is really good, but she's also a very high school character. And knowing how to all the movements, Kriyu knows all those movements, makes her extremely scary to play against. Like, right there, great tech from Ozma. Using that float to mix up that landing, but Ozma does catch him either way. There one drag down, F tilt. Ooh, oh the weight. He definitely tried to go for the roll out read for that knee, but definitely not working out in his favor there. Oh, the single hit up B. All right, Kriyu's got that Levin Sword. Oh, the Levin Sword is actually gone. I'm, I am unfamiliar with how the Levin Sword works in this game. I am not entirely sure either, honestly. All I know is that the sword jumps hard, but so does that knee. 100% the most raw knee. He just read that jump. Like, literally, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, but that was hot. Kriyu literally responds immediately. Stocks are flying in this game one. All right, Kriyu getting a lot of mileage off of the first hit off this up B here. Yeah, very, very good use of that up B coming out from Ozma. Just letting it rip, but two times in a row. 
Yeah, that holding in on that dash attack will net him all that free damage right there. <laughs> <laughs> Triple stop dodge, he's shaking. That boy shook. Down throw. Oh, the oh, sword! the sword coming in to save him there. I got you, homie. Okay, the cancels. Okay. Yeah, Kriyu's looking so good with those uppies. Just sharking him at the ledge, hitting him every single time he tries to even get up. Oh, catching the Ooh. F smash. The latest knee on the follow-up, taking Kriyu's second stock here. My goodness, that you could have cooked a whole meal in the time that it took for that knee's hut stun to, or that, that stomp's hit stun to go away. All right. My goodness. All right, let's see if Osman can keep the momentum going. If Kriyu can even it up, and it looks like he does with that back air. Yeah, that Levin Sword back air is absolutely going to do it. It's one strong, beefy move. All the, the micro spacing on that. He faded back to the ledge. That was so smart from Kriyu. Ooh, grab break. Very well done from Kriyu there. Oh, oh no! He pushed him off stage. So when he inputted down B, he went straight down. That unfortunate. is an unfortunate situation there for Ozma. But we have seen Ozma do this before. He is one of the best Captain Falcons that has ever done it in this game. The reverse back air. Ooh. Oh yeah, he likes any, those reverse back airs, man. Any any sort of bad DI on that reverse back air knee, 100% of the time, and he was looking for it. Okay, finds the not reverse hit that time. Not quite taking the stock though. Ooh. Raw knee on wake up. Beautiful thing to catch someone at the ledge with that. They are always going to, most of the time, they're going to be in lag when they come back to that situation. So he can just let it rip. There's nothing they can do. Oh, yeah. Nothing stopping those iron plated knees. Uh oh, Kriu underneath the platform, but missing the Falcon die from Ozma here going to cost him. Yeah, I think that's actually one thing we're going to see a lot from Ozma. He has done it like a couple of times, especially when I was watching him today. He will use that up if you are shielding on that platform. The yeah. double knee almost connecting. Oh, yeah, he wanted it. Okay, Ozma not getting that double knee. Oh, the sword coming in. Okay, Kriyu trying to space out the fire here. Just get him off stage. Get that get that stage control. You have oh. the Ooh. jump scare. All right, that Levin sword is in play here. A lot stronger on those aerials. We are at kill percent. Kriyu has to get something here before it runs out. Oh, and it's already out. Oh, not quite just yet. Still living from this Falcon dive. What is the edge guard, the back air, going to take game one for Ozma? Ooh, very well done. Really good comeback coming out from Ozma there. Honestly, he had he had a stock down, right? But he did walk in in his mental, and he was just like, no. No, I've come back from this before. This game is so swing heavy, and it's little small plays in your mentality that can oh, really yeah. just take the whole set for you. Yeah, that's one thing. Ozma, he is complete patience when it comes to things like this. Like getting pushed off stage, accidentally down being and SDing, yeah. or getting ledge hogs at zero. It's kind of just like, eh, yeah. I signed up for this. Yeah. Ozma, but then he always climbs back. Yeah, seriously. Just like that. He's looking stone cold right now. Every single time that I've seen him play today, he's just like stone faced. He's 100% focused in this match, just trying to honestly just sauce on his opponents. Oh, yeah. It's the most focused I've ever seen him. Let's see if it can keep it up going for him. Fight. All right. Game two on Frigate Orphean here. Now, fun fact, these platforms actually move together in the middle. Yeah, honestly, really, really cool stage. I love a lot of the stage changes that come for HDR, and this is honestly one of the coolest ones that is actually available. Ooh, that Levin Sword. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my goodness. The Levin Sword combo, it just keeps going. That back air would have confirmed it, but he's just messing around with the sword at this point, giving him an extra projectile to work with, and he does net the stock off of it, getting him a one-stock lead here. Yeah, clean, clean up there on the ledge hog. Uh-oh. Oh, not my looking goodness, too good for yes. Dunk him down into the blast zone. That's two stocks. Less than a minute. But what was I just talking about? Literally, we're less than a minute in, and Kriyu has already taken two stocks. This is a this is a massive shift in momentum coming out from Kriyu here. My goodness. I don't know if it's the stage or just like literally just the adaptation coming out from Kriyu, but he is doing so good in this game too. Oh, wow. Nearly reading the correct timing on that roll on from ledge. This combo, he still keeps it going. He's kind of whiffing things here and there because he's just barely out of range, but he still keeps it going regardless. Ooh. Ozma fighting his way back with that knee. Yeah, definitely. But he, you have to keep in mind, he's still a stock count. Like, oh, is he? I mean, is he? he? Yeah, I might okay. change. Okay, I thought he was going to take it right there. I mean, it's still looking like it. He still has a possibility. He's still in disadvantage. All he has to do is get one good schmix on him. All Down right. throw. Oh, he tried to go for the royal read on the roll in. He did, he did give it to him before, but he's not giving it to him again. Oh, Ray, nice tag. 
Okay, great neutral air from Kryu there. Ooh, that bill actually really hurting Kryu in that situation. All right, now Kryu needs to take this stock right now as soon as possible <laughs> so he can just, oh, he can keep his lead because Ozma just needs that one hit. And that, I see him looking. That single hit of uh, up B for coming out from Robin does so much to just get him that stage control back oh, because yeah. he's just able to just get right back to center stage and still be actionable from it. Yep. It's really, really good. And the hitbox throws you towards him. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's such a good tool. That back air killing it from the other side of the stage, doing so much work for Kryu there. Yeah, Ozma almost had 170 there. Let's see if we can make up for the stock differential here. Nice parry. It's very hard to react to parry timing in this game. Absolutely. It's instantaneous. It's no uh, stop frames like an ultimate. Oh, that's going to be a Raptor boost. Confirming into that knee. No real. I don't know if there's actually much DI that you can do there on that Raptor boost. But if there is, then that certainly wasn't oh, a good th DI. There, <laughs> there is. There's DI on everything. Ozma's just that good at reading. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's the one thing. You'll, you'll mix up DI so much, and he'll always catch you. Oh, the ledge hog slowly Ooh. turning it around. Wow, that's not even slowly. That just completely shifted the momentum of this game. Ozma's looking really, really good here now all of a sudden. Okay, nearly catching the roll from the down throw. Now, honestly, one of the biggest things here is that's going to be a huge shift of momentum coming out for Kryu. Like, he has to get his head back into the game. He has to get something here. Ooh, but oh, but no! Ozma absolutely says no, almost ending the game right there. Almost ending it. See, it's already even. Oh, my goodness! Okay, I thought, I thought the shield was going. We all thought the shield was I going. I thought the shield was going like a wet paper towel. <laughs> it was looking like one of those small M&Ms. Like, it was literally the tiniest thing that I've ever seen. All right, it's not looking too good for Kryu here at 130%. In here, we have to actually start being really wary of uh, shielding here for Kryu. He has to not stay in that shield for super long because he does still have that upbeat. That's that looming threat that is there, but he doesn't even need it. That raw back air from center stage. Ozma did such a, re like, such a reversal there. What was I saying? Last game, he was down two. This game, he was down two stocks off yeah. rip. Like two big 40 stocks. seconds down two stocks. Like yeah. he said, he said, you see that smirk? He said, yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am that guy. That's what he's that's what's going through his head right now. He's just like, I am that guy. All right, let's see if he is truly is that guy. And he can move on to winners finals, I believe. Or is I this one? It'd be grand's finals. Yeah. It'd be grand. So he'd yeah. be moving on to winner side of grands if he gets the clean 3-0 sweep. Unless Kryu has anything to say about it. Honestly, I think, oh, did Ozma, Ozma chose to ban Frigate. Okay, interesting thing coming out there. He was like, no. Like, he saw how the beginning of that game went, and he was just like, no. Nah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even want to try that. It's not worth it. So you can you walk in Robin once I again. I know he has a Greninja, like, cooking on the back burner, but he doesn't want to break it out. And honestly, I completely agree with that decision. Like, his Robin is doing really well. I think just a couple changes in how he's approaching the neutral in particular. And, like, he's kind of, like, overshooting a lot of his moves, where he'll, like, overcorrect, actually, is what I meant to say. Yeah. Where he'll throw two of the same move, like, out, and then it'll net a punish for Ozma. But, like, if he just slows down, methodically goes in after getting those hits, like, he can definitely get a lot better of an advantage coming from it. Yeah. Just trying to get that to work out for him here, getting these small hits here and there that are just... Little combos, but not quite getting the follow-up on them. And Ozma might slowly climb back this slow lead that Kryu has. Ooh, Kryu's definitely thinking that something like would happen there, but <laughs> man, like that sword, I feel like kind of went to waste there. Okay. Oh, Ooh, bouncing him explosion. into the arc fire. The combo is still going. He got that read on the roll in. Can he get? Oh man! The oh, Ozma. the platform. Ozma. The platform actually cut the knee. One hundred percent, it did. Oh, that upy did actually miss there. That's really big for Kryu. If he can get something off of this, that has a win box. I, we all learned something new today. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. The stage is honestly super cool. That middle platform lowering up and down every once in a while during the course of the stage, changing the terrain for each character. And like it, it can really like change the dichotomy of the match for the characters themselves because someone can do better with just two plats and then the other will do better with three. Oh yeah. Especially considering the stage one has walls and two, I believe it's the biggest stage that we're playing on for this tournament. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so Kree <laughs> consistently probably live till 160, 170 unless Ozma can find those raw knee combos. 
Okay. Creed's moving a little bit. Ozma's just laying there. You can have fun, bro. He's, he's just kind of letting him do all the work right now. He's just like, all right, you know what? Like, you can cook. Give, 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 give him a Go second. Ahead, bro. <laughs> all right. Nice tag. Still tag keeping chase it. Ooh, coming up from oh, Ozma. He went a little too hard on the sauce oh, yeah. there. He was fiending. Looking a little like me there on the <laughs> for that down air. Now let's see if this can actually net some true momentum for Kriyu here. He needs to actually, like, he needs to seal out this game, and he needs to do it convincingly in order to get, like, a huge momentum shift going into this next uh, next game. Because if he doesn't, you know, he's in his loser's life, which you don't want to be in. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't want to be in. You want to go to Grant on winner's side. That's how you're just going to win the tournament the easiest. You want to be hanging from two threads, not one. Right, exactly. Oh! Ooh! Well, Ozma got something to say about that. He said, don't push a button. <laughs> Ozma using that invulnerability coming off of ledge, different mechanic from ultimate. You can use the invulnerability that you had there, and he was able to get an invulnerable there, near there. All right. These are not looking to be two good trades for Ozma here. Kriyu looking to take this stock with the Falcon Dive, letting Ozma get back to stage. Hey, oh, catching that's the roll, roll from ledge. That's really, really big for Kriyu here, but yeah, you need to get a punish oh, no. there. Oh my goodness, Kriyu's doing so much good pressure, but Hazma is not having it. He's getting those texts every single time. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kriyu responds to the tech of his own. Dude, Hazma was at 200%. He was at 200%. He's living forever off of this. The survivability on this man is insane. 100%. Captain Falcon, definitely a beefier boy when it comes to that weight class. He can live those hits a lot longer than a lot of other characters in the cast. Oh, catching the getup attack with the raw knee. Ozma evening up the stock count. Can he take the set with a 3 0? -oh? Can Kriyu run it back? Honestly, right now it's looking really Ozma favor. But once again, he's, he tried to use that Falcon dive on the ledge, and Kriyu was ready for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, moving out of the way correctly in time. Instead of just sitting there and holding shield and getting scooped by it, like a lot of people do. Oh, oh the parry! Oh my goodness, this is huge. He, yeah, he had a condition to hold shield there. Oh no! Oh my gosh. Unfortunate gets ledge hog the frame before Kriyu grabbed it. And that's crazy. Not Kriyu. reacting fast enough. That was also two SDs coming out from Ozma that game. Mm. Yeah, which is huge for Kriyu because like, if it, Ozma is the kind of player that can get in his head over that kind of thing, then that's a really big momentum shift, right? But also, Ozma seems like he's got a really good mentality going into these matches. Like, I think he's definitely, like, he's probably just pissed, and he just wants to get it done at this point. Yeah, he's like, I should not have lost that. Yeah, he's, he's, he, he, he's, uh, he's definitely beat himself up over that one just a little bit. All right, and I didn't see where we were going for game four. We will find out where Ozma decided to go four side. Four side. Another stage with walls. He can still wall jump, get those longer recoveries in. Wall techs, things of that nature. Alrighty. Ooh, the forward throw for the tech chase. I feel like one thing the two of these players are actually doing really well is uh, utilizing a lot of the new changes for crouch canceling, where like they are actually holding down at these low percents and getting a lot less damage because of it. Oh yeah, crouch canceling is so good in this game. Omsa tech, so good. SDI is amazing in this game. Ooh, these players definitely use them to their advantage. Ryu safely landing there somehow. Ooh, Ooh. wow, that grabs. That's a knee. Yeah, very beautiful stock coming off of that down throw for uh, for Ozma right there. Oh, yeah. Ozma knows those, those reactions, those timings. He will get it every time. Okay. He's definitely, he's, I, I feel like right now he's kind of just throwing moves out instead of, like, actually trying to battle Ozma. He's just trying to keep him out, which oh. I, I can definitely respect against Captain Falcon. Okay, did you did anybody see him SDI through the the arc, the arc thunder? Oh, it was beautiful, right? <laughs> oh my it was great SDI coming out from Ozma right there. <laughs> that was insane. Hey, SDI definitely having a factor in there too, but that SDI had to have been good to get out of that. Oh yeah. Oh, Ooh, Ozma. beautiful! Oh my goodness! Yeah, Ozma just way too high a percent for that to combo. Uh oh. This, this. The stock might be running away from Kriyu here before he gets this Ooh, lead in that knee. knee. Oh, a little Ooh, too early. Huge, that's a huge miss coming out from Ozma. That's like, that would have net hit in the stock. And now, like, oh, no, never mind. <laughs> he said, I'm not having it. He gets the roll on that read in. 
Oh my goodness, beautiful F smash. Oh, the back throw yep. at 200 will take the stock. Thankfully, Robin does have that kill throw if they cannot kill properly. But my goodness, this is looking really rough for Creo on this game four. All right, let's see what he does to try to turn this around. Stuck on this platform right now. Okay, the very nice. Now, the ending up air is doing so much work for Creo here. <laughs> Okay, that arc fire combo is gonna Ooh. net him so much. Great SDI and DI from that that last hit from Ozma there. Ooh, wanna, like I feel like that arc fire definitely like it was the right idea, but in that situation in particular, it just it didn't actually it actually put him in a worse spot because he couldn't edge guard him in that situation. But Ozma's doing such a, a good job of just maintaining the stage control. Kree is very scared to land right now. Ooh. Yeah, doesn't quite get the reaction on the down throw. Great DI from that from Kriu and netting the stock himself for it. Now we're back at even stocks. All right, Ooh, the back air combos. Yeah, using that, using that upbeat just to get out of that situation, just trying to get any sort of in that he can get right now. Oh! The Levin Sword popping out of his hand and Ozma taking him for all his worth with that hard knee right there. <laughs> that knee was earth shattering for Kriu right there. He needed to get that stop before Ozma does because now he has to go all the way up against a player of Ozma's caliber. Two stops versus his one. That's a very hard task to do. But that some that whiff Raptor boost is definitely gonna give him some huge oh. advantage here. Yo, he was trying to get the stairway to heaven right there. I saw it. <laughs> I saw. The, I saw the idea. No, oh. Oh, unfortunate SD from Kriu. Ozma moving on to winner side of Grand Finals. Well done for Ozma. That's a very convincing way to get to Grand Finals too, because even though he did lose that game, like that felt more like a like that felt a little bit more like a fluke because he did have those two like major SDs that lost him those massive stocks in the game, but. Now, like, he's sitting in Grand Finals, winner's side. That is huge for Ozma. Oh, yeah. Winner's side. And the crew still does have another chance in loser's bracket. Uh, I don't have it pulled up in front of me. I should probably do that. Yeah, I'm actually unfamiliar with who, like, who our finalized top four is. Uh, but also, any Ozma fans, sound off in the chat. Represent your boy. Represent your man from Chicago. He's from Chicago, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Represent your boy from Chicago. Get, get hype for him in the chat. All right, so we're going to have to pause for a quick ad break, but do not go anywhere. More amazing HDR action coming right at you. I think calling. Oh.
Since 2008, Gaming Gen has been providing staffing, consoles, monitors, and every other essential for amazing events. Rushdown Revolt, a fast-paced fighting game that brings anime fighter mechanics to the platform fighter genre. Use the Spark Cancel system to access insane combos, featuring a unique cast of characters and electrifying gameplay. God of Rock is like nothing you've witnessed before. DNF Duel, coming to Nintendo Switch April 20th. Now you can hit the lab on the go. Guilty Gear Strive Season 2. With four new characters, including Bridget, Sin, and two more characters to be announced for release later this year. Them's Vitenherd Season Pass 1 available now including Texas the Bull and three more upcoming characters along with new stages. Celebrating over 10 years of Skullgirls and five years of Skullgirls Mobile. With four brand new DLC characters, it's the perfect time to start or get back into the game that Touch Arcade called far and away the best mobile fighting game, MSI Cyborg 15. For only $9.99, you can grab a monster rig pumping out 1080p at 144 hertz. Junk food. Proven quality, Featuring support for PS5 and Xbox Series, you can also pick up the brand new Micro Lite available now. Jack Jean, a captivating story where every choice brings countless... Welcome back to some more amazing top four action here, here at Frosty Faustings for HDR. I am Potato, and I'm here with Matata. Yes, sir. That last match was absolutely something, and oh, yeah. we're gonna have an absolutely amazing match coming up here with Auto Magic versus Raven King. Wow, <laughs> Auto Magic, someone that was like top two at Undertow, and Raven King, if I'm familiar with the name, is actually someone who like is amazing at all different kinds of Smash games. Oh yeah, he is known as being the Ike player. Yeah, <laughs> not, not an Ike player, he is the Ike player. But uh, in this game, he plays Violet, and Violet goes crazy in this game. Yeah. At the Yacht Office HDR weeklies that we have every week, uh, he top threes, top twos with them most often if he enters. Uh, but he's just insane with this character, and let's see if we can see some of that magic going on here. Yeah, I mean, Violet definitely is like a contender for like a very strong character in this game. Speaking of strong contenders, we got that Samus. We got that Samus on lock. Definitely nerfed from the crouch canceling buffs, but still an absolutely amazing character. Oh yeah, definitely still a threat to face. And that Becker is gonna put him way off wow. stage. No jump to save him. Automagic going down one stock here. Man, that's 30 seconds in and Auto is already down a stock. These stocks are flying here. Right, right, he finding his way down from that platform. No right punish. now, we see, uh, we see Automagic with a lot of the stage control here. Even though he's that stock down, he has him in this ledge trap situation. And this is def Oh, that nil. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Either way, he still is able to actually get something going here. Jab one into F tilt. Definitely, like, can be avoided with SDI. All right, holding the ledge here. Raven King actually opts to hold off stage there, knowing that the tether's going to put him in a vulnerable state. Auto magic. What's the edge guard? Ooh. Honestly, I kind of disagree with the like, like he should have just held ledge in that situation because when you hold ledge against someone who has a tether, like they just get forced up and you can get that edge guard off of them. But Otto's still able to actually net that stop with only 44% on them. That's not that bad. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. That's funny. Both of these characters do play characters with uh, grapple recoveries. Uh oh! Ooh. There we go. That's a uh, that's a Chicago classic. There, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. That is uh, that is scary in both Ultimate and here in HDR. It's such a strong move and can just rob those stocks so quickly. Oh yeah. Yeah, one thing about the, the tether recoveries is while Samus does have one, like she does have access to that other up beat, like their, her yeah. actual up beat, which does have a hitbox on it, which is good. Like it can net him a lot more full versatility than uh, Violet's can. Fun fact, that up beat, we used to dub it the... <laughs> oh man. It's now eels and escalators after the nerf. <laughs> so you just, you just scoop them and then you go up. Before it was shoots and ladders, but that was before when you could loop it. Yeah, <laughs> so that was funny. <laughs> but none of that today, but Raven King still gets the pick up on those, but Auto Magic gets the pick up on the edge guard there with that forward air. Yeah, absolutely beautiful coming out from Auto Magic. Violet can't recover from that part, especially if they've already used their tether once. Ooh, oh, just going for the up B, alrighty. 
Raven King making this, uh, this yeah. stage control here, just doing a lot of good, just throwing those projectiles out there, trying to get something, and it nets him with that bow and arrow. Oh, yeah. Every time I see him hit something with the arrow and get a kill, I, I, just, I just picture the Modern Warfare 2 hit marker sound in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, kind of fits perfectly. I want to see that as a mod. I, I'm, I, might, I might try. I might yeah, try. Oh, but catching the up wow. with the strong down air. Not even giving him a chance to get back to the stage. Raven King, he was looking so good in that first game there. He doesn't even look happy about that. Why he looks so sad? Just like another day in the office, dude. He's just like. He's like he was like, I thought pools was over. <laughs> He's like, bro, I just want to clock out. Yeah. <laughs> Auto taking him to Congo Falls here. So Raven King, is he specifically only a Violet player? Or does he also have like an Ike? Because I so, know he's like a fan of that character in Ultimate. He has a little bit of a Joker that he's played a little bit. Okay. And last week in this loser side is of Grand Finals against Ozma, okay, he played you. Ike for got the first you. time. But well, he has a few characters in the pocket, but Violet is for sure the main right now. Yeah, I think that I think it's a good pick. Violet definitely has a lot of strong tools coming out here, and he showed it very much so in game one. Oh, the drag down combos. Okay, the forward air. Fun fact, I, I believe that's a frame five forward air in this game. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, it's actually frame five. It's stupid fast. All right. Take. Oh, that up tilt. Getting so much damage here for Otto, sending him so far away, he can't even recover from that. Yeah, Raven King going down the first stock this game. Contrary to the last, the F tilt putting auto magic off stage. That F tilt is extremely strong, by the way. So is that up tilt because Ooh. it leads into the eels and escalators? He doesn't find the right roll on it, though. Yeah, definitely didn't get the DI he was looking for there. Oh, that down air definitely not doing anything for auto there. The drag down fair, not able to get him anything, but still able to recover because of that wall jump coming out from Tannis. Oh, yeah. Fun thing when we have four stages with walls on them. Characters yeah. with wall jumps go crazy, but Raven King catching him with the back air, even up the stock count here. Ooh. This stage, like, very interesting. I think it's definitely going to, like, I, I would imagine this would benefit Violet more just because of the way that Violet has those access to those ladders with those upbees. I would imagine it'd be really, really good for them. Oh, yeah, he tried to do it right there. Auto putting him off stage though. What's the edge guard holding ledge? Nice. Raven King mixing up the direction there. Fun fact, if you hold a different direction, it will choose which way you go, even if you get hog. But it might not matter with the drag down. Oh, it was so close, but and he still, still picked it up. Literally. He caught, he caught his mistakes and he cleaned it up and was able to get it with that nair. Very beautiful stock coming out from Auto. All right, Raven King gonna get the edge guard. No, he doesn't. Nice aggressive forward air from Auto, but it might get him killed. Okay, still making it back to the stage. Back air. Oh, he tried to finish it with a missile. Interesting. I would I th actually no, I think what he was trying to do was use his charge shot, just like right there. Ah. Like if I had to take a guess, that would be like that would be like the better finisher in that That would make sense. Oh, the snipe catching the failed ledge dash, I believe. Ooh. <laughs> Raven King that's finding that strong dash attack. Wow, at that's 150. A, that's a very strong dash oh, attack. Oh yeah, my goodness, the prof and the auto of his stock there. Oh, catching the jump with the forward air. Nearly deep. catching the second one. Raven King with the aggressive forward air to stop him from doing it though. Auto's doing really good at just keeping uh, Raven King up in the sky there. Violet can kind of struggle to land. They don't really have like the best landing aerial in the game. Like they, ha they have Nair. I would imagine Nair's pretty solid. And so is that charge shot. Beautiful coming out from Auto Magic right there. Yeah, but it looks like Raven King is rolling those eels and escalator dice, and he rolled escalators. On the third try, he finally does get that up air out of that up beam. Yeah, that is a 50-50, and it looks like he's trying, trying to go for it again. Nice stall from Otto there to get back to Sage. Ooh. Yeah, stopping that combo. Ooh, the side right. B just, yeah, honestly, I feel like that's the most safe option out of that because you can catch them even if, because it's just such a big hitbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, such the only thing is if they hold in, it doesn't work. Oh, that makes that, sense. Yeah, so it's a 50-50. You either choose the down air, side B, or up air. But it depends on which way they go. 
Oh, but this forward air is taking Raven King off stage. Ardo opting for the stage control instead of going for the deep edge guard again. Once again, jab F tilt. I don't think we'll ever see Auto finish that jab because it's just not a very good tool for Samus. Going so deep there, this could actually put Auto Magic in a bad situation, but actually netting him a, almost a stop here. Yeah, great DI from that back throw from Raven King, knowing, knowing that uh, <laughs> you're not holding correct direction, you will die. But Auto finding that drag down combo into the down smash. That's a classic. Oh, yeah. That drag down into that down smash that is huge for Auto Magic, netting this game too. Very, very well done coming from Otto. We have some fans popping off in the crowd. I love to see this energy. There's so much energy coming out from this venue right now. Both of these players like have their fans. And honestly, like it could go either way. Honestly. Yeah, especially um, one thing I didn't consider is uh, bombs at ledge. Yeah. Uh, especially since Raven King has the tether recovery. Yeah. It's uh, very, very brutal. I'm sure it's hard to try to get those in where you can, but. Yeah, I think especially like on stages with walls because like the bomb will just go straight down and those walls, like they're gonna prevent the tether from actually like swooping at all. So yep. he's just gonna hit the wall. And if he's low enough and you're like, he won't make it back, he can up be onto the stage yeah. and then wall bounce <laughs> and then, oh, I'm back. Exactly. Explode. We're starting off this game three coming out of Dreamland. All right, running it back. Yep, running it back to Green Greens, getting this quick combo here from Otto, 49% has Raven King at the ledge. Okay, somehow getting out. It might be time to roll some dice. He's shaking them in his hand. <laughs> there oh, we go. Of he two. let him go. Does he get the 50-50? Oh my gosh, almost barely killing. Okay, the forward air. Aggressive option from Otto. The down air chunking through the platform. Unfortunately, not lined up correctly for the up to scoop. My goodness, that down air was terrifying. Raven King kind of just sticking to the corner. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that was almost uh, not the greatest DI that yeah, that was destroyed him right there. But. That was a little, little bit rough on the DI there, but he was still able to live it. Can he pick it up? Oh, fails to get the upper drag down hits, but it's not going to matter. Still finds the stock anyways. He didn't even need it. It did not matter in the slightest. Right. Oh, OK. Levato doesn't have a jump. Yup, nice roll on stage. Hogging the ledge from Raven King there. Even stocks, even percents. Amazing edge hog coming out from Raven King right there. Oh, Ooh, catching the roll oh. in. <laughs> Yo, he tried to end him with that stomp. My goodness, getting the. Oh. oh. Okay, no tech, but it's not going to send him very far. What's the play from Otto? Okay. Nice mix up from Raven King. Still off stage. Oh, tries to go for the catch and the up the rise with the neutral air to gimp him, but I definitely respect it. He's in enough of an advantage state that Raven King's looking a little bit scared and a little bit flustered on like how to get out of this situation and reset the neutral. And oh. it's showing because he did just lose a stock for it. Otto's looking really, really like in control of this match. Alright, we got shoots and ladders. He Ooh. rolled the escalators. Or the no, no, wait, no. Oh, this is backwards. <laughs> I'm all back stuff. I'm all mixed up. Can Otto get the mix? Okay. The no mix up mix up. We like to see those. Okay. Raw charge shot. No need for a combo to get that hit. All right. Auto living. Auto fans are cashing in right now. He's living with this stock. Oh, yeah. The stocks are rising. The stocks are rising. It's still rising. Oh, drag, rising. Drag, grab, grab. <laughs> oh, the good swat away coming out from Raven King. That frame five aerial really putting in work there. Oh, the jab forward smash angled down. I'm not sure if that mattered, but I'm sure it might have. But cleaning up that stock regardless, Raven King on his last stock of this game here. Yeah, this is, <laughs> Auto Magic is looking a lot better in this game three than either of the previous two matches. But Raven King, Coming in with that sniper technique and making automatic lose that stock. Almost like still he has to deal with a full other stock. It's such a bad situation for him. Yep. It's very doable, but it's a matter of can he get off of this ledge? It's very doable, but against this auto magic right now, it's oh, looking yeah. very hard. That boy's moving. Okay, we got the up throw conversions. This could let net him a lot of damage. Not reading the roll on the platform correctly though. 
Heading for the air dodge to ledge. Very safe option. <laughs> my goodness, both these players are swinging. I've never seen Raven King throw more neutral airs in my life. <laughs> Not even with Ike. Okay. Okay. Yep, still making it back there. Yeah, definitely. We are seeing Otto trying to go for those drag down fares. Ooh, no jump. Otto going up two in a row, 2 1 here. Otto stocks are rising. It's I, oh man, I I, I want to see both of these players in that grand in that losers finals, but sadly only one of them is gonna be able to progress. And Raven King's now on his like potentially tournament game here. Oh yeah, that's that is huge, especially for a Bylas as pristine as his. He's a uh, he's got to find a way to counter this Samus and a lot of like the drag downs that Otto has been doing. Like he needs to find a way around it. Uh oh. We're on the character select screen, and he's hovering over Byleth, uh -oh. but we do know he has a couple other characters. Yeah, he's got some tucked away deep down in the pocket. A lot of people don't know about them. Oh. Let's see. Okay. This is, this is a maybe. That he's was thinking not one about of the it. You were telling me he's about He's thinking about it. The Joker. The Joker? No. I. All right. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, that's the oh. low. Oh, are we reaching in? Are we reaching? Are we reaching? <laughs> oh, all reliable. Back to where we all started. I do kind of like how he brought us through his thought process yeah. there. Like, <laughs> is this one? <laughs> nah, nah, Violet. <laughs> Definitely caught us all hanging on that one. All right. Now we are on the Fossey Fossings uh, PS3 here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if Raven King can turn this around for himself here. Playing Ooh. those heels and escalators properly. Oh, unfortunate. Otto not having enough juice to make it back to ledge there, and Raven King goes up a clean whole stock. This is uh, this is looking really, really good for Raven King fans right now. He just took that first stock within the first 30 seconds of the match. That's huge. Oh, the bomb. I love that Nair into that bomb. Just setting up for so much strength there. So much advantage to be had. <laughs> What's bomb? a stall to an up tilt? <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I, th I saw Otto get bonked. <laughs> I thought he was going to get pineapple. Honestly, I can't even deny this song is a perfect song for this set right now. Such an epic moment. Both of these players, like, trying their heart out just to have a chance at continuing on in this tournament. Hey, Raven King. Yeah. Thought he was stuck on that platform for a second. Oh, reads the roll just a little too early, I guess. The last hit possible of that upper really Ooh. netted him a lot for Auto Magic right there. You know, the movement from Auto Magic right now is clean. Yeah. He is not trying to out, out space and get ruined. But then Raven King catching him with the up air, taking that second stock from Auto here. Raven King's looking so good in this game, dude. Crouch cancels once again coming out for uh, for Auto Magic right here. He just keeps throwing out these dash tags, and Auto Magic is ready for them. He said, "You gonna keep doing it?" Right. Drag down fair into up air. Make charge shot. Oh, actually throws it out. Okay, let Raven King back onto the stage here. What is the landing? Nice up B out of shield. I always forget that's a great option yeah. with these characters. That's one thing we really haven't seen for uh, Auto Magic at all during this set, but he pulled it out at the perfect moment. And like uh, Raven King guaranteed forgot about that too, and he mixed him because of it and netted him that stock off of that advantage state. Oh yeah. Catching that border. Now mixing up Raven King at the ledge here. The sh movement. Yeah, there we go. There Implementing we go. that up B. I love it. He's using every aspect of this character to try to end it right now. Oh, air dodge is just a little bit too high. Gets caught by the dash tech, but Raven King not reacting quick enough to get the right timing to roll those dice there. Oh, the that charge was a shot! Beautiful charge shot. While still ducking the arrow. Yeah, it, it broke through the arrow <laughs> entirely. It just said, "Get out of my way." It said, "Nah." A ball of pure plasma versus an arrow, which will win. <laughs> Thankfully, the ball of plasma. <laughs> oh. Okay, strong back error, not taking the Ooh. stock just yet here. 
Aja Magic is still in it. He refuses, but that up air will net the stock for Raven King. He's looking so good here. Can he keep his tournament life going? Okay, it's looking like he might be able to with that up tilt. That is a amazing combo starter for this character. But it looks like he can't quite take it further than 48%. Uh-oh, bad DI on that forward air, though. Yeah, that's very scary. The stomp. Oh. Cool stop! Oh my oh. gosh, he was cooking, but he just barely missed the finishing touch, the flourish. Oh, oh my goodness, Raven King downer. sending him to the depths of hell with that one. My goodness, looked so good in that game. Oh man, Automagic has to be feeling that right there. That This is one tense game five going oh, into yeah. this. Game five. Oh. My goodness, I don't wow. even know who to root for. I don't know. That combo, that, that almost combo was, that was spicy. It was amazing. He had oh. a little too much sauce on it though. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Got, got a little too out. antsy, spilled it a little too early. Yeah. He, uh, he, he kind of he kind of spilt the sauce all <laughs> over the table. <laughs> all right. Trying to keep his hands warm however he can. Just honestly, like, I think the most important thing is taking this time that you have in this game to just think about how you can go into the next one. And I'm honestly interested to see what stage he actually chose. Very true. We're straight on running it back, same matchup, no changing characters here. I love to see it. I'm, one of my favorite things in Smash is always just seeing two people stick to their mains, stick to their guns 100% of the way. This battle is about to explode. Oh, we're going to right. Battlefield. All righty. Yeah. First game on Battlefield here. What do you think about this, like, in terms of Violet and Samus? Like, who do you think benefits from this more? I don't know. I've seen Raven King do a lot of crazy stuff yeah, in, on like, these I platforms, like, yeah. but I feel like Otto has so much stuff to just cover all of them that it just might not even matter. Yeah, I think both these like players have the access to that drag downs and then also like by like with that up B into whatever he wants. Oh, the sweet spot, not quite gonna take it. Oh, the, the hit error. marker. All right, no quick scope, but finding the F tilt on the up B to stage. Oh, oh. tries to snatch ledge, but a little too late on that. In control of this stage right now, but Automagic is actually able to take center stage. It just matters is like, can he keep it? Because if he can keep this right now, he can just keep Violet in the corner, and there's not much Violet can do about it. Oh, yeah. And he's just taking him for all he's worth, throwing out these projectiles oh, as was the perfectly as possible, but he barely whipped the Uppy. That was the most gung ho Uppy I've ever seen, and it netted him a stock loss because of it. That was so ballsy, but also like, well done to Raven King for just not falling for it. All right, good DI on that back throw there from Raven King. Still holding on to his first stock. Getting off the ledge, this up throw is gonna be huge. Okay, bobbing and weaving out of there. Oh, oh wow. That roll from ledge actually like, it, it may have seemed defensive, but it was absolutely an aggressive option right there. He was trying to get right back into the action with that one. Raven King nearly rolling correctly on that shoots and ladders. Not quite getting there. The oh. double missile. Amazing mix up coming up from Otto. He said, I don't need to log on. <laughs> okay, nearly finds the forwarder off the down throw. All right, Raven King can be able to find the stock right there. Rolls correctly with the up air follow up, getting the stock conversion. Was a really good up air. This is this is looking really really good for Raven King right now. He's sitting an entire stock up. Otto's got to pull out an auto stop, dude. He has to he has to start doing those crazy drag downs and kind of just hope that Raven King like messes up on some of his crouch cancels. All right, now Otto is back at the ledge. Raven King <laughs> keeping it up with these up throw conversions. Raven King Nearly. is just baiting him. Ooh. He's baiting him into just doing whatever the hell he wants. My goodness, Raven King is playing so hot right now. Grab. Oh, nice tech on that downer. That would have been really bad for Otto. Yeah, very, very bad. <laughs> Raven King is throwing these downers out, and it's working. It sharks through those platforms. It's such a massive hitbox, and it's so strong. So strong. <laughs> throwing out these dash techs, not finding them, but finds the correct roll on the shoots and ladders. Oh, heels and escalators. Is Raven King going to end this with a three stock? It's looking like it to me, Matata. I don't know what to expect here. I don't know. I've seen Raven King do it time and time again, but let's see if Otto has anything to say about it. Oh, he reads the roll out. Okay, yeah, a little too early to go for that side beat. 
right? Auto landing on this platform. This is scary. Find shield drop. He shield drop into the neutral air. Sadness info coming out from Auto. He's kind of flubbing his advantage here. He's kind of struggling under this pressure. Raven King is looking calm and collected. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, it's not over. Oh, it is over. Oh my goodness. Beautiful game five coming out from Raven King. Excellent stuff. And Auto Magic is just out of there. He is not happy with that set loss. And honestly, I understand it. Like, Raven King kind of just like, he just took him to the bank. He just cashed out right there. Oh, yeah. You see, really you see stare at the camera? He just, he just, I'm just here, man. <laughs> Res Raven King. That was, like, <laughs> am I sweating? Hold on. Am I Oof. sweating? I feel like I'm sweating after that one. That one was crazy. Oh, Only sweating Raven King was doing was <laughs> Rolling those dice, bro. <laughs> Shaking the dice. He got so many good reads off of those. Oh, too, yeah. Because, like, so it many. felt like even though it is a 50 50, like, you, it's, you know, it's like playing rock, paper, scissors. It know? is. Like, it's a, like, granted, like, rock, paper, scissors is a little different, but also, like, it still is that same mind game. It's like, are they going to DI out? Are they going to DI in? Or they're not going to DI at all. Yeah. And then you just choose your option based off of that. And I feel like his success rate was, like, 70%. Oh, yeah. Which is massive. It's extremely high. Yeah. That's really, really good. He was just in his head. Which is unfortunate for Automagic, definitely going out at a finish that he didn't want, but that was a very, very like heart clenching oh, set. Yeah. Like that was rough to watch. That was close until it wasn't. Yeah, seriously though. And then it was <gasps> Ooh. All right. Okay. Now Raven King moving on to face Kriu in losers finals here. Winner moves on for <laughs> the title win against Osmond, on the winner side. Grand Finals. Honestly, right now, I think any of these players can take it. They've I all agree. shown that they have the skills. They all shown that they have the tech skill and the neutral. Kriu definitely like. When I was talking to him earlier today, he literally said like, "I'm not placing my seed." Like he 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 just straight up said he's like, "I'm not placing my seed. I I'm gonna play terrible and like I'm gonna be out at like night." I was like, "Dude." With that mindset you are, and then he like changed everything, and now he's like in contention he's for the entire tournament. He is currently playing for third place now. I don't remember what his seed was. Nah, he's playing for first. Are you kidding me? He's That's trying to take facts. it all. I can't call my man out. <laughs> all right, but game one on platform here. Brave King starting off strong. Well, even for sense though. Feels like this could almost be a canon matchup. Definitely different timelines, but both Fire Emblem characters. That's true. Ooh. Yeah, doesn't roll out to get hit by the Arc Thunder. Yeah, those Arc or Thunders arc are fire. definitely like. Yeah, those Arc Fires are definitely like really bold statements, and I feel like he's been doing them a little too much. Like he should just try to go for a lot of the reads in because. A lot of people have been watching Kriya today, and they know that he's been doing that a lot. So like, he needs to change it up just a little bit, and then implement it back into his gameplay once people are falling for it. Okay, one thing I just thought of oh, <laughs> right before he got hit by that F-Tilt is uh, Kriya using the first hit beam of that uh, that up uh -huh. to snatch Raven King from tethering from ledge. Like, yeah. way down in the blast zone? Yeah. That could be something we see in the future. Yeah, crazy we'll enough, like, that's something that Kriya is like, in my opinion, that's what I think of when I think of Kriya. He's so known for those like up B spikes or those up B like from the bottom of the blast zone. He oh. just like hits you with them. He tried to do it right there. I saw it. Yeah, it's oh, just, that's so strong. It's just such a good option for Robin. Like it's so safe. You're no, you're still able to ledge trap after it because you can just shoot the first one and you're still instantly actionable. Like it's really really good option. Oh, smacking the thunder away. Okay, Raven King with the aggressive option back to stage, gonna net him a decent amount of damage here. Ooh, once again, trying to use those uppies. I legitimately like it, it's good pressure, but if Raven, Raven King is looking for it, then there's not much he's gonna be able to do. Yeah, he can kind of move out of the way in time. Okay, I thought he could catch the shield right there. No, oh, both players whiffing, and it looks like Raven King's gonna come out on top of that interaction. I love all of the movement that comes out from Kriu every time he's in play. But like, Raven King is looking so good here. He has that stage control and he snipes him from the platform. I'm telling you, man, he's playing Modern Warfare 2. He's doing it. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, that was the deepest play. I definitely think that was a missed input coming out from Kriu. 
That is an unfortunate way, and he's now three stops down, Matata. This is so bad. Yeah, an unfortunate SD from Kree there, but hopefully he won't let it shake him too hard and he can make this comeback here before Raven King rolls away with it with this <laughs> Eels and Escalators combos. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, the strong hit not quite, or the weak hit not quite doing it there. Kree still has another shot at life, though. All right, the Elf are going to take it. Still yeah. has the possibility of taking this game, but it's going to be a very, very hard fight. He has the biggest neutral interactions very, very wisely, and he has to not overcommit to anything if he wants to take this. Yeah, Raven King is just going to constantly put you off stage. Go, going for everything right there. Oh, my goodness. you got to respect it. He is a whole stock up. He's feeling very confident here. Uh-oh. Okay. The jab sending Raven King back off stage. Kree with the <laughs> glide toss shenanigans. I don't even yeah. know. Wow, that strong dash attack just taking it from the other side of the stage. I didn't actually catch the timer, but that match was fast. Oh, yeah. That was so quick. Those stocks were flying. I felt like less than two minutes. That was a very, very quick match. Yeah, quick match indeed. Let's see if the next game will be a little bit shorter or a little bit longer. I'm hoping to see it be a little bit longer. Oh, because, yeah. like, what we really need to see is, like, Kree changing up the way that he's approaching neutral. And, like, when he does have advantage, I don't feel like he's pushing it enough to where it's actually, like, beneficial for him. Because he is going for a lot of those hard reads with the arc fire. But the arc fire may this not be the play right now. To like, just change up the way that you're doing it. Fight. Yeah, and it looks like a lot of Raven King's moves kind of just yeah. stuff it out yeah. as well. The medium charge one. All right, but this up tilt, such a great combo starter for Violet. Okay, Kryu. Oh, yeah, catching Raven King, trying to jump out of his shield just a little too early and getting a lot of damage for it. Kryu definitely having the right idea with getting that edge card right there, but like also when he saw that he went in, he didn't full commit to it, which is so frustrating. <laughs> All right. Oh! The hardest of reads with that down smash from Raven King there. It was such good coverage, too. Like, it literally took up, like, the entirety of his roll distance. There wasn't much that he could have done there. Okay, and he's still keeping it going here. Quick 64. Kryu is still above Raven King. And that this is not looking amazing. good for Kryu. Oh, oh, but Mike turn, trying to turn it around right there with that force smash combo. The parry? Are you insane? Okay. Oh, he's oh insane. my goodness, take him to the he's top, insane. send him to the heavens. Stairway to the heavens, but now it might be Raven King starting to do that. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Okay, doesn't roll correctly there. All right, are you finding the dash tech, pushing Raven King off stage, and then down throw. Okay, the single hit. Oh, oh no. he already used his single hit his up up Very unfortunate for Kryu, but he's still looking really, really good here. He has potential to even this game back up, but he doesn't want to take too much percent before he does it. It's not going to look good for him if he does. Yeah, doing his best to kind of juke out Raven King's up conversions here with these single up and B reverses. Doing a great job working out. I forgot Robin even had a float. Yeah, honestly, he did a really good job of kind of hiding that, like, in his sleeves. Oh, yeah. Has not used that the entire set, or I believe the entire time we've been on the stream. But Raven King picking up that second to last stock here from Ryu. Oh, just barely not taking it. That back air, kind of unfortunate for Ryu, but that up B into forward smash, classic. Yep, catching him on the way up with that recovery that time. We're once again, it's like two stocks to one. Kryu has a lot to do here, but Raven King is looking so good here. Like, it's it's such a scary match here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Kryu's SDI is actually insane. Yeah, I, I saw him get out. I saw him get hit by one of the up airs, and I was like, whoa. Okay, catching the roll. Nice Ooh, timing. that arc fire was beautiful, spending, giving him so much shield pressure. But Raven King immediately retaliates with that up the other shield into the up air and netting him game two. We rolling those escalators. Like every week.
This is like every Friday for Raven Fever. All right, so you said it's eels and escalators now? Eels and escalators. All right, so now. like what is, be confusing what, is the, what is the eels in that situation? <laughs> okay, so the eels is miss. Okay, yes. got you, got you. Yeah, eels is missing. Escalator is uh, hitting any of the ones I would kill. All right, so next time he misses it, I'm going to go eels. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember before with this character, you used to be able to choose whether her up B would spike you or not. Yeah. And it was untackable. Oh, it, uh, that's they disgusting, there. We right? used to call that uh, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> 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 but there will be none of that today here on 3D Land. Rave King up two games. Ooh. Oh, Kree is looking pretty good here. I love that, uh, that just that whole combo there, using the down throw to kind of just reset the, the advantage state. He's riding this combo for all it's worth. Quick 86%. Catching the landing. Such a good arc fire. Beautiful combo from Kriya, but it does not kill. Oh my goodness, I wanted that to kill so bad. That would have been an amazing clip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great DI from Raven King there. Let's see if Ra Kriya can pick up this edge guard. Okay, parry. Yeah, does not have Levin Sword, but the arc fire, or the alpha. I don't even know. Oh no! Oh, no. oh he came oh, with Okay. He made it back and took the stock. All the right. teabag on him. Alright, now I'm actually sweating. The that was respect. Cool. <laughs> you just gotta steep this tea, you know. Uh-oh. Gotta get it tasting great. Oh, 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 yo, the F tilt snuffed out what would have been the combo system. <laughs> That's crazy. Kriu throwing that book at him being like, yo, take these reads. True! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Raven King with the aggressive side beat back to the stage. Are you catching him though? I'll suppress. That grabbed? Wow, what a grab from Kriu. Oh, you're, you carried that, you're a madman. Oh, I thought he was gonna jump. He wants to play. Nice movement from Raven King, trying not to space himself too hard. I definitely like the mix-up of using both up Bs in that situation. Like, Raven King was not expecting it, and it did actually net him, basically put him in advantage so long and kept him in that stage control where he was able to actually get that stop. All right, and it looks like Ryu's have his first big advantage of this set so far. Up two stocks against Raven King. Oh, now one stock. I guess I might have cursed it. I apologize if that was the case. <laughs> it is the commentator's curse. It <laughs> happens every once in a while. You just got to accept it as your blessing and curse. And curse, yeah. All right, the double up air. Oh, Raven King's getting really, really uh, like gung ho with a lot of these down airs. Oh, he just stands there. What a roll! What a read on the roll. The patience. Okay, nice back air from Kriu with the Levin Sword. Oh, the arc fire actually nearly sniping him. The longest of down tilts, putting uh, Kriu in disadvantage there. Raven King hopping down with the tomahawk, grabbing him out of shield. Raven King's looking so good. He's trying to take it here. All right, he rolled eels that time. He did get eels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that up smash almost popping that shield. Yeah, didn't even shield poke either. Kind of wild to me, but. Oh, very scary situation for both players. Trading back and forth at such high percent is such a scary game. Ooh, Ooh. the man throw Thoron. What a mix up coming out from Kriu. He's trying to stay in this. Oh, yeah. First great showing, I believe. It's the best we've seen Kree launch the stream Ooh. so far. But as I say that, getting sniped by the arrow once again. That felt like a 360 right there. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see if Kree can hold on to this and not let his tournament run end. <laughs> the sound effect on those fairs is just so meaty, dude. It feels oh like you're going to my goodness. The head. 84. Right. Oh, the crouch cancel. The empty hops. Oh, my goodness. All right, catching the air dodge with that neutral air. Rolls in. Oh, oh beautiful. He did not roll in there and yeah. did not give Raven King what he wanted. But Raven King still has the potential to take this. He is two stops down, but Kriu is looking so good here. Yeah. That middle platform is back up. I'm wondering if either player can actually use this to the point where to the best of their advantage. Nearly got the upbeat conversion, but it looks like Raven King's gonna even up the stock count with that forward tilt. 146% in the dream. But oh. dream is immediately turned into a nightmare. Kriu taking that game three. Kriu say, wake up, man. Wake up. 
<laughs> Wake up. Look at him go. He is feeling a lot better in that game three. I think, like, he just had a huge mental shift there. He was just like, all right, I'm going to step back a little bit. And it felt like he really did do that. He played a, like, that match felt a lot longer than a lot of our prior matches did. And it showed because he did put himself in a lot better situations. And look what it did. Oh, yeah. It, it won him the game. Yep, still holding on to his bracket life here. This battle that's right. Battlefield. Battlefield, interesting. So we're, we're just running basically the previous stage, but with no moving platform in the center. Just pester. Just keep pestering him. <laughs> Hope. It's like worse Falco laser. <laughs> okay, the aggressive forward air from stage. Ooh, the Raven King with the reverse up tilt trying to catch him, but not giving it to him. Oh, catching him with the up though, it's just so deceptive because you're like, you throw out an aerial, he doesn't have a jump, you go in, but then nope, up Raven King definitely, like, I, I feel like he's going to want to get the momentum of that first stock. And I feel like if he does do that, then he can, like, he can take this game in a sweeping fashion. But Ryu, I feel like he can work so much off of that momentum. So if he gives him that momentum, then he's just going to run with it. Straight up running up to him before it's match. Gotta respect it. Down throw. No good DI. Not able to give Ryu any sort of punish there. Okay, nice roll from Raven King. Barely missing out from getting hit by that arc fire. The double dash attack. Oh, that arc fire just giving him enough pressure to get back on the stage safely. Oh, Ooh, the hard punish on the S-Smash. That was such a good punish. He knew exactly what situation Raven King was in there, and he capitalized on it perfectly. But Raven King getting the edge guard of his own. Ooh, the beefiest of air dodges, keeping him safe there. Yeah, nearly getting smoked by that side B right there. But the forward tail looks like it's going to do the job to clean it up anyways. What a good tool and what good usage of it by Raven King, keeping himself in this game. Getting out of that arc fire there, finding his way off the ledge. The Ryu not letting him hold it for too long. The no. weight on that up he was so smart. Just hold, basically just giving him the infinite shield prep pressure that it's literally just doing nothing. Really, really good play coming out from Ryu. Right, dash attack. Hey, Raven King loves those dash attack chains, man. Those nares are just keep catching him in those situations. That back air not leading to anything, not getting those sweet spots. All right, that 11 sword forward air, putting Raven King off stage. The parry on the second hit. Using that jab to get off of me. He's trying to clean it up with this edge guard. Okay, finds the up air on landing. Ryu does have a jump again. But up tilt, almost catching it, almost taking the stock there. Back air not gonna take it quite yet. Raven King does have another shot. And still has that up B, he's good. He's back on stage, but that Thoron! Oh, oh, not quite goodness, gonna do it just gonna yet. He's not gonna take it at 150. Wow. The dash attack on the oh other side gonna goodness. catch the bad DI on it. Green gonna lose a stock for it. Not only high percent, but that bad hit's definitely gonna like net him so much there. Back throw, no, not gonna kill. Good DI on it coming out from Raven King. Going so low for that up B. That recovery is so crazy. That's okay. not going to give him enough room to work with. Oh. I know he wanted the spike hit, but. 80% on green here. He needs to find this stock now. Back air? No, whiffs the back air. Raven King nearly living to 200% here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is such a tense situation. Raven King is sitting an entire stock up, too. This is looking really rough for Kryu fans. That grab whiffing is so huge. Raven King can get a punish here. He went for the down throw DI mix up. That still didn't kill. 205. Robin can't kill. Robin's trash. All right, the side B. Okay, charging the whole arrow right there. Oh, <laughs> oh man. What? That actually saved him. 227 finally netting him that kill. 145%, he's got to get this evened up, and he's got to get it evened up quick. All right, that up air looks like it's going to take the lead right back. 
in Raven King's favor. Raven for King's you, potentially on his last game of this tournament once again. He wants to end it here at that game four. Violet just loves to end it on those game fours, but here Raven King is trying to do it convincingly with two stocks in his favor. Oh, landing into that arc fire. Gonna take a lot of damage from Ooh. Kryu here. Oh, catching him at the at ledge. ledge. Nice, reading the getup I love ledge. What, I love what Raven King did there. He went under stage specifically to avoid that up B from Kryu there. It <laughs> gave him so much room to work with. All right, Kryu did not find that B reverse. Thorin. I feel like one thing that both of these characters can kind of struggle to do and why we're seeing it so much is they can just kind of shield on platform for mostly free. There's not much that either of these characters can really do to like break each other's shield super hard. Oh, but that's such a huge stock coming up from Kryu. This is very possible to bring this back and take it to game five. He's just got to get a massive stock here. All right. The movement on the top flat, trying to find that safe landing. Kryu's disadvantage is looking so good. It's so hard to catch him when he's above you. His B reversing, his up B's just give him so much room to work with. Oh, Daz attacking through the arc fire. Okay, oh. Kryu with the quick pickup. Can he keep Raven King near the ledge? Oh, that's huge. That bear swatting him away, not giving him much room to work with. He catches him with the up air. This could be it. Oh my goodness, no, Kryu accidentally letting that B button rip. He does not cancel it, and that nets the stock for Raven King. Raven King taking the step 3-1. Wow, oh my goodness, such a slight misplay coming out from Kryu, and it cost him the cost him his tournament life. Taking third place here at Frosty Faustings. Wow. Definitely placing a lot better than he said he was expecting. Yeah, to seriously. Place. Doing a, a great showing there from Robin. <laughs> I know this is the last tournament he said he was playing Robin before he drops his character. Uh, I don't know, man. For I one think, reason or another. I think he has to keep the character going. Like, he's done so well he's with so the character. And it's, a so, it's the soul character, you know? They definitely still have a lot of power, and he's shown it. He's shown it so hard. He got third place here today against a lot of very good competitors. Robin, like, definitely has weaknesses, but as every character should. <laughs> that's my that's my opinion. I don't know if that's a hot take or not. <laughs> no, TK. that's not a hot take. <laughs> every character has weaknesses, and every character feels like they're broken Seriously. until you realize they're not. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, like he he really showed that Robin is just a, such a like cool character, and he's utilizing all the tech to the best of his ability. And now we are moving on to our final set of the night, Grand Finals, Raven King versus Ozma. All right, and this is a Yacht Office HDR Weekly Classic. These two meeting in Grand Finals. Uh, though sometimes it is swapped. I believe this is the second time in a row it's been Raven King on loser's side. Um, but historically, the last few times it's been, uh, it's been Ozma. Wow. Uh, so he still hasn't dropped a set this entire tournament. Can he win without dropping a set and having to bring it to a reset? Dude, if Ozma takes this set without a reset, that's going to be monumental. Like, he'll, he'll just take the tournament and he'll show, like, yeah, I, I just did that. I am that guy. Like, he, he'll just prove it to himself. He's like, I, I am that guy. That's true. This is just Yacht Office HDR 21.5. Last week was literally <laughs> this matchup, except Raven King was on loser's side and said, you know what? I'm going to try Ike. And then he went down two games, and then, all right, I'll go Violet. <laughs> <laughs> but I respect him. He's willing to do things like that on loser side of yeah. brands. That just shows the confidence that this man has. Yeah, in seriously. Pl he's playing. I definitely respect it when people just play the character that they want to play, even if they know, like, yeah, you know, might not work out for me, but I can bring it back. Like, that's, that's a, that is a, that is a top player mentality. That's a top player mentality, knowing that you have what it takes to take it back in a 3-0 fashion. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, one thing, HDR, uh, the bracket is running relatively longer, I believe, than we expected. But, I mean, that happens with every bracket. So what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> But really regardless, happens. jumping into grand finals here. Ozma versus to Raven King. All righty, last set of the night. Hope, actually, not guaranteed. We could have Ozma lose this first set, and then Raven King takes it in the second one. But 
Oh, Ooh, okay, check. yeah. I think we're... I don't know if this is an incorrect stage choice or if this is just, like, you know, a hand warmer. I don't think it's a hand warmer. Oh, it's a hand warmer. Oh. I don't think... I, I don't That's know possible. what happened there. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm acting like I know, but I Traditionally don't. speaking, I would just see players, like, you know, do the instant reset. True. Do whatever they need to do. But, you know... Like, honestly, like, they don't need it. Just get right back into the game. Pick whatever stage you want. Where are they going? They are going to Green Greens. Okay, maybe it was, oh, yeah, maybe they just didn't change their controls, actually. No, never mind. Just running it straight back. All righty. Here we go. Running it straight into Grand Finals here. Ozma versus this battle Ozma is versus Raven explode. King. Are we going to get Fight. the actual button check or a start? Button check. Welcome. All right, we are getting the button check here. All right, All here right. we go. Now we're running it straight back into Grand Finals. Third time's the charm, right? That's true. All right, now we have the official start. Ooh. Catching the recovery with the up air, but Raven King still has a good enough recovery to make it back there. Okay, landing with that forward air. It's not going to net him too much because he got stuck on this platform. Oh, this is very scary. Oh, my goodness. If he hadn't gotten that grab there, Raven King could have just held the legend. It would have been it for that first stock. Uh -oh. Looks like Ozma might have a hard time trying to fan, uh, trying to land in this matchup. Like Ooh. everyone, but finding the quick little knee combo. Not quite going to take the stock just yet, but puts Raven King in an edge guard situation. Oh my goodness, this is looking very scary here. You know, Ozma's using that up B a lot more frequently, and it's actually a very, very good tool. Uh, just command grab out of shield, like I think around frame 14, it's not bad at all for a command grab out of shield. Oh yeah, especially when um, you're playing against a character with a tether recovery, you can kind right. of like, scoop them from the tether. Yeah, you can literally just go down, babysit. Ooh, the double jab into the knee, catching the spot dodge. Everything combos in the knee. Ozma will find a way. <laughs> That's what's important if you're playing Falcon. You've got to find a way to get that knee. It's your combo finisher. It's one of the most iconic moves in Smash, period. And you got to get as many of them as possible if you plan to hope to take this tournament. Yeah, catching uh, Ozma with the quick recovery there. Doesn't quite find the kill with the up throw. Wow, what a Falcon kick. Oh, the jab block. block. All right, the up tilt. Ozma is now off stage. Nice fade. Yeah, get those pummels. Get that extra damage. Yeah, you're at 200%. You might as well. Nice tech. Beautiful tech. It's so scary in those situations. If you miss that tech, you're just done. Just See? Oh, so close. All right, and that back throw from Raven King. Center stage is going to take Ozma's first stock here. All right, All right. Get that jab, get him off stage. That gentleman just doing such a good job of putting him out there. Trying to up for the up air, and I respect that a lot because that up air does cover a lot of options in that specific scenario, but not able to get him anything because he didn't really commit to either thing. The hardest of F smashes, he charged it. He said, yeah, I'd do that. <laughs> <laughs> I am that guy. <laughs> he said, I know where you're going to be. He's just standing there menacingly. <laughs> Uh-oh. <gasps> Okay, oh nice goodness. DI on that back air. Okay, dash the dash tag almost taking it. Oh, the tech? Okay, see, if this was pre patch, he could have upbeat again. Wow. And, and then he would have died. And then we would have seen the real sheets and ladders. But regardless, Raven King find it in that stock there. Ooh, what a good up air. That's such an early stock. That was only at like 50. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a good stock coming out from Ozma. Don't even know, like, he's played this matchup several times. Oh, yeah, very many so. A lot of matchups, especially where he gives people with, like, weak hit knee and things of that nature. <laughs> uh oh, dash down, down air. I don't even know what moves are anymore. <laughs> moving so fast. They're moving so fast. They're hitting each other with everything. It's kind of hard to tell. Everything's becoming a little bit of a blur. Then Nair crossing up, getting. Oh, the fair into the down air. Oh, my goodness. What a stock sending them down to the depths of Dreamland. That's like the sixth or seventh time we've seen that combo, but that's the first time he's hit the spike on it. Yeah. And I respect it. Yeah, that was a beautiful combo coming out from Raven King there. All right, and the up throw combo starter. Back, Back there, air. yeah. All right, and all he has to do is... Ooh, okay, he still gets a punish. 
This is so huge for Raven King right now. He's playing so good on this last stock situation. He wants to take it here. Back air, he's gonna take it. Taking that first game for Raven King. Well done. All right, Ozma going down game one. Raven King showing him why Eels and Escalators taking the top. Yeah, Eels and Escalators definitely getting the Escalators on that one. No Eels to be had. Doing very, very good here. Raven King's looking really confident off of that last set. Yeah, Nazma got that really early gimp. Uh, just couldn't quite find the last stock to finish right. it up. Yeah. All right, here we are. We're taking it to game two. Running into Foresight, similar map, but a little bit of a, a moving platform there in the center, akin to Smashville. Yeah, except uh, the stage does have walls. That is one thing. Also, a lot prettier, in my opinion. Bro, Very the cool skyline. stage. Look yeah, literally. It's a full moon now. It's Come honestly on. funny enough. It's oh, oh my, my gosh, god! Just, and he makes it back from it because of those walls. The counter pick that Ozma chose actually working out in Raven King's favor there. I pointed out the full moon. He said, "Full moon." I right, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Both of these players just took a stock from each other within 30 seconds. That's the fastest I've seen. My goodness. Back air catching him on the roll in. All right, what's the pickup? The Raptor boost. Great DI from Raven King on that. All right, up tilt. Ooh. Okay, nice Oms attack from Ozma. Ooh, that was a beautiful back air, and that's gonna net him the stock. What a, what an amazing edge guard coming out from Raven King. Oh yeah, knowing he didn't have a jump, all I gotta do is just hold the ledge, man. What are you doing? Just gotta hold it. All right, the up airs. Oh, he keeps trying for those knees, and honestly, you've got to respect it. It's such a good move for Captain Falcon. That absolutely that combo finisher that he needs to land in order to take these stocks. Yeah, tilt. Yeah, and a lot of changes like that we see for Falcon, like in traditional ultimate, that knee not nearly as good of a tool. In this game, it is everything for this. Oh character. yeah, it's it's very much akin to melee in that regard. It's a very very solid tool that really just like it does get him his stocks like 100% of the time. All right, the up throw for both players here. Except now Ozma is off stage. Ooh, what a schmix on the recovery. The drift getting him so much there. Extremely proficient on the up B recoveries there. Ozma, yeah. the weak hit knee stopping the side B from coming out. Oh, Finds stop. the... Oh, no. oh, my goodness, the jab block. Yo, he dropped the combo and said, I got it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness, Raven King drifting out with that upbeat, actually getting him like back onto stage. He's in center control, but Ozma is not having it. He just runs in and lets it rip, hits him with that good old fashioned knee. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Yeah, you just gotta do it to him. Yep, just gotta hold ledge. Ozma, single stock, it's both players. Both of these stocks, <laughs> both of these games so far have been like ridiculous. Oh, he's showing off a chain grab, okay. Wow. I've, I don't think I've seen Raven King chain grab before. I've yet. never seen that, honestly. I know that like overall chain grabs were heavily nerfed over the course of or HDR. Ooh, not the sweet spot on that F smash. Not gonna take anything here. Oh, the deals and escalators. Eels. Trying to get that uh, that second down air, but Raven King just does that quick get off me option, and it does work out in his favor. Weak knee into up air. That platform doing so much for Raven King right there. Kind of saving his hide. Okay, the up B, this might be it. Wow. Yep. Raven King taking game two. It's looking like a bracket reset here. Man, what, like, what could we see change from Ozma here? Because like all of these games have been super close. Like I don't even know what to say. I've seen Raven King reset HDR brackets and ultimate brackets many times over. Yeah, seriously, Raven King, he's showing that he is definitely one of the names of Smash in general, and he wants to take this tournament very, very convincingly. If he can take the first set in a 3-0 fashion, and then we come back and we have a second set, 
This is gonna be one amazing grand finals. All right, jumping into our game three here. This battle is about to explode. All righty, we're hopping on the battlefield here. This is Hosma's counterpick once again. Okay, I wonder what he's actually thinking with this. Because like, traditionally, I would absolutely see this being way more in Violet's favor than Captain Falcon's. But I'm interested to see what he can do with it. Ooh, nice back air. Oh. Yeah, couldn't quite catch that landing with that forward smash. Ozma gonna take him for what he's worth though. 48%. Nice DI from that down throw. Back air, no. A little late. That didn't school? I've never seen that. Yeah, absolutely crazy. It, like scraped him. Ooh, that up air is doing so good for Ozma there, getting him out of that situation. But that down air sends him at the proper angle for uh for Ozma to actually tech that. Yeah, but it's not gonna matter. Raven King picking it up with that back air. Taking Ozma's first stock here. Yeah, Ozma was trying to go for the schmicks there with the jab, jab, and the grab, but Raven King was actually given enough SDI to just get out of that situation entirely. All right, what's Ozma's the edge ready guard? for this up B. Is he gonna drift back? Yep. Raven King, like, funny enough, in those situations has drifted back, I think, probably around 90% of the time. There's been a couple of times where he has gone in, but it's so, like, it's getting to the point where it's just a little bit predictable, and I want to so like I want to know if either player will like catch on to that as the set goes on. Yeah, we'll have to see, but he needs to mix it up. Beautiful with the Falcon up dive. Still not going to do a great DI from Raven King. Okay, yeah, yeah opt again, to go he's, back off that time. Yeah, as I said before, like it's it's what he is most comfortable with, and I honestly understand because it's such a good option when you are met at the ledge. Yep, change it up right there. Ozma couldn't quite pick up the stock off of it, though. There's the down tilt. Right. Also, and shout out to the people that made the uh, the music pack. Oh, so absolutely. Shout out to Farron for putting my favorite song on here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> seriously, this, this music pack is definitely kick killing it right now. Oh, the forward Ooh. smash. It does not matter where you drift with that. Do you see how long that lance is? Much like the music pack, Raven King is killing it right now. My goodness, dude, he's absolutely looking to take this in a 3-0 fashion and just reset this bracket right off the bat. Hey, getting the quick pickup. Oh. Once again, going for that raw F smash, but Raven King a little more prepared oh. for it. And the buffer down B once again killing him. This is looking like a wash right now, Matata. I don't know what to say. I don't know. He pushed him off just a little bit too oh hard, but Ozma picking it up with the up tilt. Take this heal, bro. Send him to the flower fields, dude. Bury him. Six feet under. Okay, the up tilt conversions. Raven King just swinging here. He knows he just needs the one good hit to just keep going. Hey, nice spacing from Ozma here, getting around these up tilts that Raven King's throwing around. Oh! Nice down throw in the knee. Bad DI coming out from uh, Raven King right there. But he's still able to live from it. Ooh, he was able to actually act out faster than Ozma was able to punish him. Oh, the getup attack actually snuffing whatever follow up he was going to throw up on that platform, and Ozma going to find that stock with the knee. Man, <laughs> Ozma's really evened up this game, but an F deal is enough, almost enough to take it here. F smash, the weak hit still takes it. Wow, bracket reset coming out from Raven King. 3-0 across the board. Straight That's across. insane. This man's playing tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Except he was the only player. He's playing tic-tac-toe, but every single time he went first. Did you got it? <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> Yeah, Raven King, he's uh, he's definitely looking really, really confident. That loser's run kind of giving him a lot of experience, a lot of momentum going into the set. Ozma, maybe just a little bit cold going into it, but now he has that first set under his belt. Let's see if he can make a reversal going into the set number to two. We've got some huge raw remix chance in the, <laughs> crowd. <laughs> the crowd. I almost said the chat. I mean, honestly, they're kind of like chat to us right now. That's true. Shout out to the chat. We can see y'all. Yeah, we can see y'all. We appreciate y'all for we staying for HDR. All right, here for the bracket reset. Starting on green greens once again. 
I, I actually really like this stage for both of these characters. It just feels really like neither character has too much on this stage. Like, they both just kind of get around the same amount from it. They don't get too much out of it. Ooh, uh -oh. that forward air. Nice fade back from Ozma, avoiding whatever follow-up there that was. Or could have been. Just Ooh. the raw down. No fear from Raven. Ooh. That's going to do it. He doesn't have a jump. <laughs> what a good F tilt, dude. Raven King is looking it's so good so here. Strong. Only 30% sitting on him right now. But Ozma's definitely trying to add on to that as time goes on. Yo, his SDI on Raptor Boost is literally the greatest out of any. It's godlike. On that move. Ooh, unable to get the dash onto that uh, onto that knee, so he wasn't actually ha able to have enough momentum to get that stop. Hey, jab, jab, down throw into the weak knee, up air. Beautiful. That was such a good usage of the weak knee to carry that combo into the up air. And then Raven King had bad DI on that up air, and then it just sent him straight into the blast zone. All right, finding the neutral air from ledge. What's the tech chase? Okay, oh. somehow gets the double up air. <gasps> wow, that actually takes it for Ozma too. What a reversal on this game. This is looking way more Ozma favored than like the beginning would have let show. All right, now see if Raven King can find the stray hit that he needs in order to net him even up the stock count. King definitely doing a lot of good spacing right now. Just that bear hitting below the ledge. That he slapped his hands away. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was reaching for the cookie jar. Long. And Raven King is his mom. He said no. <laughs> Long live the king. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Asma at the ledge getting up thrown. So could be a lot of damage for him. Ooh, wow, the get-up timing. He had no fear in his eyes. He got up right up into that with perfect timing and netted him a punish. I think what's wild, I have not seen Raven King use down B with Violet until today. I've never seen him use yeah. that move. Yeah, it's just like he's just feeling that confident, you know? He's just that different today. Okay, holding the ledge. Nice timing on that from Raven King. Getting a quick ledge hog against Ozma. Ooh, the Raptor boost, trying to get, just trying to get like any semblance of a combo into that knee that he can right now. Falcon definitely not really one to struggle with killing, and he, <laughs> Ozma has shown it time and time again that up tilt, sending him down, hitting below the ledge, just so good. Okay, nice double up throw from Raven King. Get the pickup on the tag on platform. The raw knee on the tag. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful mix up with that double jump. Yeah, it wasn't ready for uh, Raven King to get ledge hog, I believe. No, absolutely not. But Raven King's definitely taking this stage back. Has all of these grabs on lock. He, I don't feel like he's missed one since he started this set. Absolutely incredible. He is playing so precise right now. Uh -oh. The dash attack catching every single option right there. There's not much he could have done there. Is he? Yeah, he's dead. He has to be. Oh, no, Raven King saved him. No, he should still be dead here, yeah. Raven King taking four games in a row. I don't even know if anyone can stop him right now. I don't know. He's looking really, really good here. He's looking like a different person. Seriously. But he's not a different person. Honestly, Raven King's that guy. He is that guy. He, he is that guy. You saw how he won that one game? with like three stocks, and then he was just looking down like, yeah. And he's just like, yep. Like, bro, I want to go home. <laughs> as, I said, as I said, like, another day in the office, dude. Another day in the office. All right, Ozma, where are we going? PS3, I know it says two, but it's messed up. <laughs> we are actually in the uh, Galar region. I love the new design. Oh, yeah, the especially new design with, for the, the stage. with the snow. Yeah. Oh, the stage is super duper cool. Like, definitely this representing Gen 8 very properly here. Ooh, and we've got the Elite Four theme from Gen 5. What a banger. It's feeling like a pretty Elite Four right at this moment. Yeah, seriously, there's some huge plays to be made by both players. Raven King sitting that game up. And my goodness, he is looking so strong right now. 
Wait, yeah, catching down air with the up tilt. And Asma might look as well as a stack for it. All right, we got up throw. Oh, now he's going for the down throw. What a mix up! Catches that neutral tech and would have covered the roll in with that down smash. All the coverage, all the chunk, all the kill. Absolutely incredible plays coming out from Raven King here. He's just, he's doing so good on the spacing drop and he's going so ham right now. But Ozma equally fires back on that tech chase, just lets the knee rip and evens this game back up. This is what I expect from PS3, man. It makes the best games. It's such a good stage. I'm surprised we haven't seen it more on stream. I, I want to see it more. I wish we saw it more. Like, this stage is so beautiful. Okay, the spacing from Raven King. Finds the up throw on the landing. Barely whiffs the, the eels and escalators conversion. Yeah, Ozma not really sure what Raven King was going to do there and kind of committed to a short hop. Ooh, the late hit of dash attack doing so much work. Catching on that up beat. Ooh, barely missing that knee. Yeah, so one thing with tether recoveries, if you hold in, it looks like they're just a little bit too far for Osman to get the strong hit of that knee on, like, wake up. Definitely just going to hog the ledge here. Ooh, okay. Yeah, definitely Osma did a lot to kind of prevent Raven King to be able to hog the, hog the ledge. But Raven King just quickly takes it with that up throw into up air. Very, very well done. All right. Okay, this is not looking too great for Ozma's stock here. Oh, okay. what a side B. Oh, my goodness. Raven King's looking so confident right now. He's used so many of those down Bs. Not a traditional move for Bai with that all in any game. Okay, nice tech. I'm fairly certain he would have died otherwise. That fastball saved his life right there. Raven King is out for blood. That's nice up you. Just barely, barely catching him. Ooh. Yep, not enough room for Raven King to make it back with that recovery there. Asma is at kill percent. We'll be fine. Okay, all right, getting the drag down with the Nair. Oh my goodness, this is looking really scary for Raven King right now. Ozma's got him on the ropes. Yep, trying to catch that recovery with the Falcon Dive, but Raven King smartly air dodges a way to avoid getting scooped by it. Now it looks like he's back on stage. Ooh, both uh -oh. these players just kind of whiffing a little bit, but that dash attack, it's so tried and true, and it takes the stock from center stage. Grab, down throw, knee. Yep. Perfect off stage for the conversion. What is he going to drift? Ooh, Once again, off. he drifts back, and he's not ready for it. I don't think a single time has anyone punished him drifting back. I don't believe so, no. OK, that knee, that raw knee is just going to take Raven King's stock. Oh my goodness, Raven King looks really, really good here. Wow, what a finisher coming out there. That was game two coming out from Raven King. This is this is Ozma's possible tournament life here. Oh, yeah. He's Absolutely. looking so solid through the rest of bracket. My yeah. knee hasn't lost a set until just now. Yeah, literally. This is a... Uh, this is absolutely insane. This is literally looking like a 6-0 right now. Like, one thing that's really important in a tournament like this is you have to have the endurance. These players have been playing since 2.30. That's a long time to be playing this game. You have to make sure you're eating. You have to, you have to stay this hydrated. And honestly, explode. like, right now you have to make it count. Game three possible tournament life for Ozma. Oh, what a song. Wow, what is this? I love it. I missed it. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm loving it so far. This is a great, great song for such a like pivotal point in this set. Oh yeah, the guitars, that's metal. Alright, Raven King trying to show him the metal of these blades. That four tilt sends so far. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Raven yeah. King's looking ridiculous right now. <laughs> His movement, his like bait and punish game is looking so solid, and that knee can definitely do really good. That oh, the weak knee's gonna do it. 
Yep, finding that gimp. You're not going anywhere without your jump, good fellow. You have to respect Captain Falcon's edge guarding game, and Ozma's doing such a good job with it. Yeah, this, these <laughs> Raptor Boost DIs are just perfect. Yeah, literally, you would expect Raptor Boost to be a combo He's move, but Ozma's not getting anything off of it. All right, the aggressive Falcon kick to stage. You don't see that often. Yeah, seriously, can't take it. All right, up tilt. Okay. That up he can, like, if they go high, it can catch people just randomly. Kind of happens with that move quite a bit. Uh-oh. Ooh. All right, punished with the dash attack. Not going to take it quite yet. Ooh, what good drift coming out from Ozma. Can he get a good punish here? Raven King wave bashing back and getting that down tilt, putting him in such a safe spacing distance. Ozma not really able to do anything from there. Yeah, Raven King just picking his spacing positioning. Oh my gosh, Ooh. the double down Falcon kick. Yep, it's not going to matter though with Raven King's four tilt in center stage. What can Ozma do to reverse it? Oh. Just the up tilt. That's the third, third one. I love the fact that that hits below the ledge again. It's so sick. Okay, double nair, dash attack, up air. Oh, oh up B. Nice Sex. attack. Okay. I thought we were going to see like an immediate back air or something. I was really hoping for some crazy off stage shenanigans because oh, yeah. it was really looking like it. All right, gentlemen. Yeah, Raven King is looking to end this right now in Ozma. I don't know if he has it in him to stop him. We are in an even game, but Raven King has this advantage state. Is he going to get the conversion? No, he does not. And a missed tech. That's so huge. Raven King taking it off of the edge hog. Possible tournament stock here for Ozma. He slapped him with the get up attack. And he wasn't ready. He you wasn't be ready. ready. For it. You always have oh, to be the ready bad, for first bad DI from Raven King on the Raptor boost. And Ozma's going to get a strong hit of the knee for it. <gasps> oh, oh my beautiful goodness. tech. Beautiful tech. Okay, falling up air, barely whips the Falcon Dive on top plat. What's the play? Get up attack? Up throw, up B, back air. Getting him so much percent here. Ozma's at 100%. This is looking really rough. Uh -oh. Ozma's getting very overcommittal here. Ew. He gets the up air, and that is it. Raven King takes Frosty Faustings with a 6-0 from losers. Ending it off with the classic Eels and Escalators combo. Rolling correctly on Escalators and taking the tournament. What an amazing tournament coming out from all these players. Really, everyone put in their all here today. And Raven King showed that he has it over everyone here. He is. Yeah, can we get a round of applause for our champion? Let's go. Good job, Raven King. He's shown that he is your Frosty Faustings champion, and no other player was deserving of that. Absolutely incredible work, and good job to Ozma on that second place finish. Definitely not what you want, but you have to give respect to Raven King for what he did tonight. Oh, yeah. Hard run. The 6-0 from loser side of grand finals? Seriously. That's work. Yeah, and not only that, it was quick. And you know what? He gets the clock out now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's like, job's done. All right, job's like, done. Clock in again on Monday? All right, sounds good. I'll be here. He's going to keep taking them. He's going to keep doing it because he is just that guy. He is that guy. He's just that guy. All right. All right, so we're going to be wrapping it up here. Uh, I don't know what game is taking it next. I believe... Yeah, we're heading over to Soul Calibur. I love me some Soul Calibur. I hope you guys are excited for it, too. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Batoto, and this is... I am Matata. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's go. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.